Ask Laston, episode 10, Western from Qatar. How to improve continuous production of 8mm low E triple layer silver coated glass. The problem is, the leading edge of the glass gets bent on the unloading table if we have a continuous production with loading delay 20 seconds. If we wait for some more time and then process the glass, it gets perfect quality. This happens only for triple silver layer coated glass. During heating the glass is extremely straight inside the furnace. When the quenching and cooling starts, the glass bends towards up and like a B-stable glass, and at the end it goes almost straight but the leading edge shows bent. We try 6mm triple silver coated glass, and the end product looks good with good quality. How to solve this issue? To me it sounds like there is a problem with the heating uniformity. So I would check the scanner image first, that is the leading and the trailing edge, are they at the same temperature? And uh, if they are not at the same temperature, which most likely they are not, then I would do a manual profile for the firing to correct the problem and to get the uh, leading edge at the correct temperature. Western from Canada. I'm having a trouble tempering a couple of our pattern class types. The first and most troublesome is 4mm Arctic. This class has a deep inconsistent pattern. It always seems to break while moving through the primary sequence or about 60 seconds into the secondary sequence cycle. The second type of class is Aquatex, also known as Aqualite. This class has a much smoother texture but it still gives me a lot of trouble, very similar to Arctic. Perhaps you can offer me some help in this issue regards to operating our furnace, or the preparation of the class. It's an excellent and extremely tricky question, would actually require some kind of visit to see what is actually happening, but usually, usually when the class breaks, let's say 40-50 seconds after the cooling cycle or the quenching cycle, it indicates the glass temperature hasn't re reached the 400 C Celsius and that during the cooling phase the glass gets a thermal shock. This might be related to the glass raw material, which the glass raw material could have too much iron, too much nickel, nickel sulfate, or the glass cutting has been too harsh which means that there is internal crack, cracks on the glass. So by checking pre-processing pre raw material quality, or even increasing the quenching pressure to cool down the glass faster, would be solutions to this one. 